I hope you're all ready to experience maximum cuteness delivered by the Critters and Companions mod. Load up a 1.19.2 Forge or Fabric World to begin your adventures with these 8 animals. We'll start with the mobs and then swiftly cover the few items near the end. Let's take a dive into the waters to greet the koi fish. You can find this carp exclusively in river biomes. They will either be white and orange, or white, orange, and black. Koi typically travel together. Being near multiple will give you luck. These friendly fishies can be scooped up in a bucket to be transported. Upon death, they will drop one koi fish and a small chance of one bone meal. This little ball of adorableness, also known as the Dumbo Octopus, thrives in the deepest oceanic waters. In other words, it spawns in deep ocean biomes. It comes in orange, peach, yellow, and purple. Other than being the center of attention, they don't do much. Dumbo octopuses could be picked up with a bucket, and they drop nothing. You've heard of sea doggos, but have you heard of sea bunnies? These little creatures spawn in ocean biomes. They come in white, blue, and yellow. Just like your previous mob, they don't do much except steal our hearts. The bunnies can be kidnapped with a bucket, and they drop nothing. The next animal needs no introduction, for it's the cuddly mammal you all know and love. The otter spawns naturally in river biomes. This is the one and only mob that is passive-aggressive towards players. These little things love to snack on all types of fish, and they can help players crack open clams to potentially find pearls. Clams and pearls will be covered thoroughly after the mob section. Through the use of koi fish, they can be bred. Killing this animal yields nothing. A distant relative of the otter, Barrett's, are one of the most useful mobs in this mod. They can be located in plains and forest biomes. You can find them in white or brown, and you can also find them attacking rabbits and chicken. Giving one enough raw rabbit will tame it. A tamed ferret will hunt chicken and rabbits for you. They will also dig for items after eating raw chicken. This has a 5 minute cooldown. Tame ferrets are breedable with raw rabbit, and can be told to stay put by right clicking them. This mob, like many others, doesn't drop anything. My favorite mob from Critters and Companions has finally made its debut, the Red Panda. These cuties can be found in jungles. They sleep all day, so searching for them can prove to be a difficult task since they aren't scurrying around. Red pandas are breedable with bamboo. They are devastatingly untamable, and they don't drop anything. Here we have a leaf insect, a very fragile and underwhelming creature. They occupy forest biomes, and they will either be green, orange, or yellow. Leaf insects literally do nothing. I mean, they barely even respond to pain. This mob drops nothing, not even experience. Quick question, was anyone else traumatized by dragonflies when they were a child? Even though they're harmless, they really freaked me out when I was young. Dragonflies spawn above rivers, and they have the same narrative as the leaf insect, visually and audibly stimulating, I suppose. Deja vu, this mob drops nothing. Don't leave just yet, several items need to be discussed. We can skip over the three animal buckets since they've already been explained. Let's start with the clam item. Fishing is the only way to obtain clams. This item can be caught in any body of water, and from my experiments, this item is rare. Their only use is to be cracked open by otters. There is a 5% chance a pearl will come out of one. Speaking of pearls, they are used to craft and upgrade pearl necklaces. There are three tiers of necklaces. They are crafted as shown. Tier 1 increases base swim speed by 10% and decreases drowned detection range by 20%. Tier 2 doubles previously mentioned values and also reduces guardian detection range by 40%. Tier 3 gives 30% swim speed and lowers guardian and drowned detection range by 60%. Place these necklaces anywhere in your inventory to gain their benefits. Koi fish is gathered from killing koi fish, figured as much, and the item can be caught in any body of water, although it's uncommon. It simply replenishes half a hunger bar, and no, it cannot be cooked. That is the Critters and Companions mod for 1.19.2 Forge and Fabric in its entirety. Check out the description for mod links, and while you're down there, leave a comment about which mob is your favorite. Thank you for watching, drop a like on the video, and make sure to subscribe for more mod-related content like this in the future. Ring that bell to be notified when I drop a video. I'm not one to upload consistently. And as always, Gremlins, stay snazzy.